Welcome to the third edition of Productronica Web TV, the magazine of the world's leading trade fair for innovative electronics production. A vehicle nowadays consists of over 80% electronics, and the trend is clearly for miniaturization. In other words, more electronics in a confined space. News from mobile electronics and whether autonomous driving is a vision for the future or already reality. We'll find that out at Productronica. Electronics in confined spaces means above all high precision in production. Zeho is a world leader in soldering technology. At the solder joints inspection systems of the lower Franconians, sensors and software features check and document all steps of the process. It's all based, of course, on a software architecture. And that's the challenge, that you've got a software architecture which is data bank based and writes back all these processes in the database and can pass them on to a superordinate system. Weight reduction is another important component for electric mobility and autonomous driving. The Swiss market leader, Comax, opts for aluminium for cable assembly. It's very important to save weight, to make the whole electrical system lighter. Cables make up about 50% of the total weight of all electronic components in the harness. It makes sense to save weight with the cables. Shocks and temperature variations have the greatest influence on electronic components that are installed in vehicles. Comprehensive and accurate testing is therefore essential. The climate cabinets of Weiss Umwelttechnik set standards here and make thermal tests more productive and clearer. Cold leads to form changes of electronics components and so on. This in turn can lead to damage. This happens to cars for example in winter if you get into the car when it's minus 20 degrees, start the engine and heat it up within a few minutes to 90 or 100 degrees. These temperature changes are simulated and represented under time lapse. Then you know whether this part has a long enough life. Vehicle owners expect reliability and durability from their cars in particular with regard to increasingly complex electronics. Es explodiert gerade das Thema im Fahrzeug. The topic of the Internet of Things is exploding right now. More and more comes into it. In the past you had, for example, an electric window regulator as a single control device. Nowadays there is a complete network. And then the important topics. Car to X and autonomous driving, so that all sensor data with traffic up front, with the other cars, with traffic light, preemption and so on, are integrated over the Internet. The universal tester platform UTP for NOFs supports the manufacturers so these structures interact with each other flawlessly and autonomous driving can be realized in the future. With me is Lars Rager, CTO of NXP. Mr. Rager, keyword cybersecurity. What's going on in the field of automotive safety? Regard cars in the future as robots that drive themselves, and the topic affects us just as it does robotics or Industry 4.0. If we want to turn the car into a self-driving robot, we also need to include cybersecurity as a topic area. Mr. Rager, one has the impression vehicles are becoming more electronic. Where is this going? These days, large luxury limousines have 100 to 200 control units and a wiring harness that weighs as much as me, with several kilometers of cable then that's where the trend is going. Each robot is electronically controlled and driven. That will be exactly the same for self-driving robots as well. All important requirements for autonomous driving. Mr. Rager, a realistic assessment, when will we drive autonomously? I assume that we will see systems on motorways in predefined areas in the next four or five years, which drive themselves. In difficult situations, such as city centers, perhaps in a bit more than 10 years. Thanks a lot, Lars Reger. Now I hand over to Falk Zenger, because who other than the managing director of Messe München could look back on Productronica 2015 for us. During the last four days of the trade fair, the electronics manufacturing industry has impressively demonstrated their innovative capacity at Productronica. 
whether augmented reality, cybersecurity, industry 4.0, all of these topics bode well for the future of the industry. Against this background, we are also very much looking forward to the next product Tronica already in 2017, and to the new developments we will see there. That's all from Productronica Web TV for this year. Thank you for watching. We have experienced interesting insights. Catch the broadcast at Productronica.com. See you in 2017. 2017. Bis dahin. Bye bye.